Hi guys, it's Michelle, and today's vid is gonna be another Baking with Michelle video. I wanted to say sorry for not uploading on Monday and Wednesday like I normally do. It's because this past week I've been really struggling with like studying for exams and stuff. So I have my finals on um, next week. And, but next week will be a normal video week. Like Monday is gonna be a Mandela Effect video, stuff like that, like just like normal conspiracy week. Because in preparation for playlist, I'm gonna pre-film and get it all done. I thought I would have more time this week, I just didn't because of how much work I had to do. So let's get into it. I'm really excited, haven't done one of these in a while. I'm actually gonna be cooking, not baking. Uh, I've been watching the Kardashians lately, so I'm gonna make some Lama Jun. I think that's how you say it. Probably not. It's basically like an Armenian pizza, but also Turkish. But also, I, I don't know. I've had it before, so it's not like I just like looked up a random recipe, but I've had it like a not vegan version because like it's just like a meat pizza basically. Uh, kind of with some spices. So I'm gonna attempt to make a vegan version. I don't know how it's gonna go because I'm not following a recipe. I'm kind of just going for it. I also asked you guys on Twitter to send me questions and y'all sent in some good ones. We're gonna talk about some conspiracy theories, what's going on in the world. Let's get into it. You're also supposed to make your own dough, but I just bought store-bought pizza dough. So we're gonna cook first and then answer questions, but I always just put in like two seconds of cooking because I feel like it's boring, I don't know. So this has calls for a cup of mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms, like literally at all, they're disgusting. So I'm gonna put a cup of beans and a half a cup of walnuts and just kind of go for it. I don't know, we'll just see what happens, you know? We've got our blender up in this bitch. Well, well, you're supposed to food process it, but like this is like, a, you know, it's good enough. The Peruvian buff pepper. <laughs> um, I'm trying to make this good because it's supposed to be like my dinner. I learned that sisters is not a James Charles quote, and it is in fact a Kardashian quote. I thought that James started it. I mean, obviously he didn't create the word sisters, but I thought he started like with calling people sister but it was the Kardashians, so there's that. This should make like a meat, I mean, I guess you could use like fake meat, like vegan, like the Gardein uh, meat crumbles, but I don't know if I want that. So now I'm just gonna add spices. Mom, say hi. Hi. Ew, hi. What are you making? I'm making Lama June. Who? <laughs> Got our pan, now we're gonna put some just regular rolled Italian pizza dough. Uh, I think you're supposed to make your own dough, but the consistency of the filling, I guess, spread more like, is dog food. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's, I, mean, I feel like it's a little bit more wet than I would like it. You know what? I think that's good. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 22 minutes and then I'm gonna answer your questions while it's in the oven. Basically, I tweeted, y'all, <laughs> send me Baking with Michelle questions from anything from conspiracy theories, mental health, or just personal stuff, whatever, spice it up. Emily says, have you ever struggled with anxiety and any tips on how to cope with it? Yes, I have. Very bad, actually. I have like panic attacks when I get myself into situations that would like trigger my anxiety, I guess. And to be honest, there for a while, I did not want to do anything about it because I didn't want to ever talk to a therapist or go to a therapist. It can be scary talking to people. I'm a crier, for example. Like anytime I just try to talk about my emotions, whether it's happy, sad, anything, I cry. Like it's so annoying and I don't like crying and I don't like crying in front of people either. So it's like a really big struggle for me, but this video is actually sponsored by a website that I think is really gonna help me, first of all, and a lot of you guys, if you guys wanna try it out, and it is called BetterHelp. First of all, for me, like for example, I'm obviously a YouTuber, as you're watching a YouTube video that I posted, thank you. Um, I travel a lot, my schedule is very strange, so, Naturally, it's like harder for me to physically go somewhere to get therapy. So something like BetterHelp is really, really helpful in that sense. Not only that, but it's so much cheaper than in-person therapy. For example, traditional therapy is like $150 to $300 per session. BetterHelp gives you unlimited communication with your therapist from $35 to $70 US dollars per week. So like you can have as much communication in between. And that is like literally so much cheaper than going somewhere for therapy. Not only that, but the 
the website is super easy to use and it could set you up with a specific therapist who have been trained or have been experienced with certain topics which is I think is really cool like you could talk about LGBTQ stuff like anxiety depression all different kinds of categories and they will help you match to a therapist and you can talk to the therapist however you want so phone calls make you nervous live chat sessions on the website or you could do video calls if you're if you're comfortable with it or phone calls and i think that that is like the key part for me because like i said i'm a crier so if i'm like typing and crying by myself like i don't care but i just don't like crying in front of people it's like a weird thing gives me more anxiety i don't know maybe my therapist will help me with that if you guys want to sign up like me like i did uh click the link in the description box below and thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video because i love pushing the word out i, I only like to do sponsorships with brands or companies that i actually like believe in so super dope and do it that's how i deal with anxiety well as of right now i don't deal with it well so i'm hoping that this helps a lot ashley says how do i choose between two guys i like i feel like hannah montana choosing between jake and jesse tbh um <laughs> i don't know i don't know actually to be honest sister i'm going through the same thing but with girlies and it's even harder than because i feel like all girls are just so pretty so <laughs> good luck just kiss them both and see which one you like better <laughs> it's terrible advice emma says talk about the little michaela news she got hacked and now has a new account okay so y'all have been tagging me in little michaela shit non freaking stuff like i like cannot open instagram without being tagged in it so essentially i don't even know if the let me see if it's still up oh no it seems like she got her account back but i do have theories about little michaela like first of all this instagram picture was posted basically saying that little michaela is a liar and a fake person and but it's like a picture of another fake person which i kind of feel like defeats the purpose of the statement but I do think it's kind of funny, and I think that this whole thing could have been fake. It could have been real very well, but the, at the same time, the graphics between that particular Instagram and little Michaela look extremely similar to the point where I feel like it's probably done by the same artist. That's my theory for it, is that it was more of a publicity stunt, because I feel like Lil Michaela, like, she's definitely still relevant. She still has... 1 million followers on instagram i did not know she had that much but she got a lot like she's doing great but maybe she wanted to bring up like a little accentuate of her relevancy i would say that this one might be fake just because of the graphics the way they look so similar obviously little michaela is a real person is her name michaela i don't know i think it's that carly stinkle girl which we've talked about in a video like months ago she claims that that's not her but i mean like it looks like her she followed the boyfriend like there was like a lot of leads to that so i don't know i think it's definitely obviously graphic design like it's not a real human like it could be a real human that's digitally edited do you guys believe that she actually got hacked do you think that she did it herself to raise publicity i don't know it's kind of smart holly jacob says what is your favorite amy winehouse song also how did you like high school because in my opinion it sucks uh, my favorite Amy song is probably Tears Dry on Their Own, but they change a lot. Like, I love all of her songs, so it changes which one I'm listening to the most at the moment. Did I like high school? No. And, and mm, yes and no, I would say. I would say, like, now looking back on it, there are times where I wish I was still in high school. I mean, most of the time I don't wish I was in high school just because, like, the concept of high school, like, stressed me out a lot. Like, just, like, doing schoolwork, obviously, is, like, annoying. Um, but at the same time, I think you should enjoy the time while you have it with your friends because like now all my friends go to different colleges and like that's just kind of how life unfolds. So I would say enjoy the time while you're in high school, while you're doing anything really, like just appreciate what's like the good in that time and then you will not regret like not doing stuff in high school but at the end of the day just join as many stuff as you want like clubs and stuff like i did theater so like that was always really fun i did like high school a little bit okay, melanie says do you have any advice for dealing with body acceptance and ignoring what other people say when you're a youtuber you get comments all the time like you're fat you're stupid blah blah, blah whatever you have this you have that so I feel like you kind of grow accustomed to getting these comments, but I feel like it hurts more if it comes from people that you actually know um, rather than just like random people on the internet. However, it always does just like bring you down a little bit no matter what. Um, I'd say just like get yourself to feel the best that you can feel inside and out. 
So if that means eating healthier and exercising, then do it. I feel like it's important. I've actually been doing that since Easter, which was April 1st, and it's now April 18th. I've lost 10 pounds and I've been swimming every day and it's super fun. Like I, swimming is such a good exercise. I'm probably gonna make a whole video on it when I lose the amount of weight I wanna lose which will probably be in like a year to be honest, so sorry. Um, but basically swimming, eating healthy. But at the same time, I understand that you're in the body that you're in currently for now. Um, even if you are trying to lose weight, like I'm still in this body. Like no one can be like, oh, like I see you're working out every day, eating healthy, like I get that. So at the same time, I understand what you mean by body acceptance. And it's kind of something that you just have to get used to and I think when you feel your best I think follow other if you're plus size follow other plus size people on Instagram and Twitter it makes you feel better um, to see other girls that you think are pretty like I don't know I see this I find this all the time it's like I'll see people that I think are beautiful and I think their bodies look fine and like perfect the way they are and some are bigger some are smaller than me and like whatever but like when I see myself it's like harder to see yourself as beautiful or whatever but I feel like that's just anybody no matter what your size is no matter what your body looks like everybody is insecure sometimes so I'd say just like working through it and maybe talking to a therapist at the same time I feel like that could be helpful Josie says all-time favorite Christmas movie love actually and Eloise at Christmas time because that's who I aspire to be is to live at the plaza Ella says do you think the world is gonna end on 4 18 18 well it's 4 18 18 while I'm filming this so if you're watching this video then no <laughs> also I never thought that anyway I don't think that we'll know a specific date when the world's gonna end because literally like yesterday at like 9 p.m. here which is on April 17th it was April 18th in Australia. I gotta get that out of the oven. I don't think that we'll know a specific date when the world will end. I think it'll just like end. Vienna says, did you hear One Direction is coming back? I did hear and I am thoroughly excited. And I believe that they will at one point. They're just probably gonna milk the time off while they can so that the comeback is like even bigger and better. And I can't wait. Ooh, Natasha says, what is your favorite childhood ruining conspiracy? So, I think my favorite childhood ruining conspiracy is the entire Dan Schneider foot fetish thing because it is so creepy and I kind of really believe it at this point. It's not like it's like just like one conspiracy theory about one show. It ruins like every Nickelodeon TV show for me, so that's not fun. But that is it for these questions. Now let's try the Lama June. I forget how to say it already. So this is what the Lama June, I forget how to say it, looks like. It honestly smells like how it normally does. Not bad, tastes pretty similar. Honestly, I did pretty good. <laughs> I'm proud. So that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on the conspiracy theories we talked about. Let me know, but yep, that is it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram because I'm always posting really dope ass shit on there. Subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. Legacy.